Hey, so here I am inside of Guitar Rig Player now, and I want to do something really interesting in this video. Um, I made a video on Guitar Rig Elements a long time ago, as I've mentioned a billion times. And as opposed to reinventing the wheel, I would rather add on to my last video than replace it. So instead of just putting this over guitars and having a drum next to it, I'm going to put these effects over a synthesizer pad. If you want to hear what it sounds like with a guitar, you can click the link right here to go to my previous video. I made some pretty nice tunes to show that this thing is beautiful with a guitar. But I don't want to do that again since I already did that. So instead, I'm going to be putting all of the effects in Guitar Rig over this pad. If you want to hear more of that, I have this I have this sound right here over on my SoundCloud account. But anyway, let's get right into this. Um, guitar Rig is a holder of a lot of effects that are optimized to be used with a guitar, but can actually be used for anything. So here in the browser section, you have all of your um, preset setups, like Hot Clean, Corona now and whatnot, and all of these are made up of different modules that you can use separately in the component section. See, here is all of this, all of the stuff that you get with complete elements, and you can put these effects onto anything you want, which is what we're going to demonstrate here. So I, I should note that being that these were optimized for guitars and not synthesizers, it is easy to make things clip. But if you do things carefully, you can get some very interesting sounds that would be hard to achieve with almost anything else. So let's get right into this.
Yeah, so I'm sure you get the idea. These effects are pretty good for the most part. I mean, you can do some interesting stuff with them. And I, I really, really do like Guitar Rig a lot. And again, if you want to hear it over a guitar as intended, you can refer to my previous video, which I did a pretty good job covering this with guitar. So next up in this video, I want to jump over to the vintage 60s drums and talk about that and compare that to BFD Eco, which I also own. Hey, so here I am in Abbey Road 60s drums. What this is different from the full 60s drums product is you only get one kit. With the full product that you'd find for $100 on Native Instruments websites, you get many kits. In this, you only get one, which is perfectly fine. I made a little bit of a beat here, which I think sounds pretty good. I'm not terribly familiar with um, 60s drum beats, but I think this still sounds pretty nice. I also have BFD Ego open here. I'm not going to be showing off the interface at all, but it's another drum program that I own. It sounds definitively different. It's a, it's a totally different style. But, I mean, in comparison, Abbey Road 60s drums sounds good. Clearly, BFD Eco is a more modern sound. It's more a competitor for modern drummer and studio drummer and stuff like that. But I wanted to show you that beat, too, to show you that the 60s drum kit is nothing to take for granted. It sounds really nice, and I'm going to be going through the interface some now. So here's your main page. Each of these things have their own options that you can edit, like tune. For your snare drum, you actually have two of them. That seems to be the only thing that you have two of. The rest of them just are what they are. Oh yeah, except for this thing, which can be the tambourine, clapping, or drumsticks. And that's really nice. Here you have a mixer section to mix things together. Uh, it doesn't seem like you have all of your microphones in this one, like in the Elements version. I think that's something you would get in the full version. And then you have your usual options menu you may be familiar with from other contact libraries. Now, the randomized section down here is what I really like. You can do some cool stuff with this to either give it a more human feel or a more alien feel. So yeah, I think that was interesting. And all in all, I think it's a very good sounding drum kit. It's not very versatile, but for 50 bucks just for this to be tossed onto everything else, this is really good. I wouldn't say it's a replacement for BFD Eco, nor is BFD Eco a replacement for this. This has a characteristic of its own. As do the 70s and 80s drums and studio drummer and whatnot, they all have characteristics of their own. So, given the money, if you're into drums, I would say it's worth having all of them. But if you're looking for that soft 60s sound, this is very, very nice. I happen not to be too familiar with that sound or too into that sound. 
I listen to the Beatles sometimes, but that's pretty much all of the 60s kind of music that I know. So I'm not too familiar with how to use this as intended, but as a whole, I think it sounds good. And on that note, I'm not going to stretch this video any longer for the drums. So thank you for watching, and I hope that you found that very useful. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and check out my SoundCloud and my Bandcamp to check out music I've made. Have a great day.